Tiger Woods is number one in the world again, and professional golf was happy to have him there. A lot of people thought golf was headed for a downward spiral while Woods was dealing with his personal problems and other injuries, but the PGA Tour appears more robust than ever, thanks to Woods' return to dominance and the emergence of several new players who have embraced the mission of overturning the sports establishment. No one embodies this more than Bubba Watson, who will try to defend his title at the Masters next week. Watson is a country boy from the Florida Panhandle who likes to brag that he has never taken a lesson and never plans on taking one either. Then there's Ricky Fowler, a 24-year-old who hits the ball a mile, even though he's the last person you'd expect would. Fowler sports neon colors in his golf wardrobe, and he spent his childhood racing dirt bikes before dedicating himself to golf full-time. Then there's Keegan Bradley, who won the PGA Championship as a rookie in 2011, and at 26 has made it clear he's anything but a one-hit wonder. He's wiry and trim and cut in the athletic mold of most pro golfers these days. Then there's Roy McElroy, the 23-year-old phenom from Northern Ireland and has a high-profile relationship with tennis star Carolyn Wozniacki. Tiger Woods is still golf's biggest star. Nothing moves the needle like having him on the leaderboard on Sunday. But golf is no longer a one-man band and it doesn't figure to be for years to come. For The Wall Street Journal, I'm Matt Butterman.